A very good morning to all my dear ones. Today we are moving on to a new topic in Max which is about tens and ones. First let's see what are one digit numbers and two digit numbers. Okay, numbers with a single digit we call it as one digit numbers. So here you can see numbers from 0 to 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, they are all one digit numbers. Why? Because there is only one number. So what about two digit numbers? Digits with two numbers. Let's see number 10. How many numbers are there? 2, 1 and 0. So we call it as two digit numbers. So you all have learned numbers from 1 to 100. So 1 to 9, 0 to 9, we call it as one digit numbers and numbers from 10 to 99, we call it as two digit numbers. So here the O stands for ones and the T stands for tens. Okay. Next, you can see pencils here. So how many pencils are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So how many pencils? Twelve pencils. So now what we are going to do is, we'll make a bundle. You know what is a bundle? Bundle means a group. So we'll make a group of ten pencils. See, I have made a bundle of ten pencils. So in bu one bundle, how many pencils are there? Ten. You can check it, you can count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 pencils in one bundle. Bundle means group. In one group, 10 pencils. So remaining 2 pencils are there. Can we make a bundle with 2 pencils? No, because the number is less than 10. If there were 10 pencils, we could have made a bundle of 10. But there is only 2 pencils remaining. So we have pasted here two single pencils. So here you can write it as one ten and two ones. So one ten means one bundle of ten pencils. That is one ten. Then you have two single pencils, two pencils of one each. So that you can write it as two one. So one ten means ten. Two ones means two. It makes number 12. So the place value of two is ones. And the one is tens. And we always calculate place value from its right. That is from ones place. So ones, tens. So in ones place, how many pencils will be there? There comes two. Then what about tens place? One bundle of ten pencils. So one. So what is the number? One ten, two ones. It makes number twelve. Moving on to one more example. Here you can see stars. How many stars are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many stars? 13 stars are there. First, what we have to do? We have to make a group of 10 stars. See, group of 10 stars. In one group, how many stars? 10 stars. So, remaining 3 stars are there. Can I make a group with 3 stars? No. So, how can we write it? We can write it as 110. 110 means one group of 10 stars and three ones, that is three stars of one each. So 110 is 10 and three ones is three. It makes the number 13. Okay, so ones, O stands for ones and T stands for tens. In ones place, how many stars? Three stars. In tens place, one group of ten stars. So it makes number 13. So one ten means ten. Three ones means three. It makes the number 13. So there were how many stars? There were total 
13 stars. Now let's see tens and ones on abacus. You know what is an abacus? Abacus is a tool which we use for reading numbers. In this abacus there are two rods that is the ones and the tens. So let's take a number. The number is 2 and we'll represent it in the abacus. So 2 is a one digit number or a two digit number. It is a one digit number. So we always calculate place value from right that is from the ones place. So what is the place value of 2? The place value of 2 is ones. So the value of number 2 is ones. So here we have two rods that is the ones and the tens. So in ones place how many beads? We will draw two beads that makes number 2. Now let's take number 17. So 17 is a one digit number or a two digit number. It is a two digit number. So the place value of 7 is ones. And what about one tenths? So, in one's place, how many beads we'll draw? We'll draw seven beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in tens place, we'll draw one. So, one tenths and seven ones makes which number? Seventeen. Let's see another one. It's number fifteen. So 15 is a one digit number or a two digit number? It is a two digit number. So 15. So the place value of 5 is ones. And 1 is tens. So we can read it as 1, 10 and 5 ones. It makes which number? 15. So when we represent it in the abacus, ones, tens. So in one's place, how many beads? Five. One, two, three, four, five. In tens place, one. It makes number fifteen. So one ten means ten. Five ones means five. So the number is fifteen. Another example. The number is ten. So ten is a one digit number or a two digit number. Ten is a two digit number. So the place value of 0 is 1's. Then 1 is 10's. So when we represent it in the abacus, in 1's place, no, it is 0. Then in 10's place, 1. 1 10 means 10. So it makes the number 10. Now we can take page number 17. In page number 17, you can see Rhea and Anu have to arrange flowers into groups to make a bouquet. So they are going to make a bouquet. So how many flowers are here? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 flowers. So if we add one more flower to that, it will become 10. Then there will be 10 flowers. Okay. So 10 flowers, can we make it as one bunch? We can make one bunch of 10 flowers. So one bunch of 10 flowers means 1, 10. One bunch of 10 flowers, we can say it as 1, 10. 1, 10 means 10. Now you can take page number 18. So here you can see, read and write numbers from 11 to 20. See the first one. 1, 10 and 1, 1 makes 11. So the answer is written here, 11. So 1, 10 means 10 and 1, 1, 1. It makes which number? 11. So see the second one. 1, 10 and 2, 1's make 12. 1, 10, 10. 2, 1's, 2. So 10 plus 2, 12. So it makes which number? It makes number 12. Like that, you have to read numbers and we have to read and write numbers till 20. So what you have to do first, read, then write numbers till 20. 
So now what you have to do is you can pause the video, do this activity, play the video and then we'll continue the class. Hope you have completed. Moving on to the next page. Here what you have to do is you have to make a group of 10. So see the first one. There is a fish tank. So first how many fish are there in total? There are total 14 fish. So we have to fill in the boxes. Ones and tens boxes. So one group of 10 fish are there. So one group of 10 fish means 110. 110 means 10. So how many single fish are there? There are 4 single fish are there. So in one's place how many fish? We'll write 4. Then what about in 10's place? One group of 10 fish. So we'll write it there 1. So 110 and 4 ones make which number? Number 14. That is 110 is 10 and 4 ones 4. It makes number 14. So see the next one. What do, you, what do you have to do first? First you have to count the number of fish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are total how many fish? There are total 16 fish. So we can write it here 6. So then what you have to do? You have to make a group of 10 fish. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have to make a group of 10 fish. So the total number is 16. So in one's place, how many fish? There are 6 single fish. Okay, so in one's place, we'll write 6. What about in tens place? In tens place, one group of 10 fish that is 110. So it makes number 16. So let's do the next one. First what you have to do? You have to count the numbers. Count the number of fish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So total how many fish? 11. Then what you have to do? You have to make a group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we'll make a group of 10. So in one's place, how many fish are there? 1. So we'll write it here, 1. What about in tens place? One group of 10 fish, that is 110. So we'll write it here, 1. So 110 and 1, 1 makes which number? Number 11. Let's do this one. So you can do this one. This you can do the next two. What you have to do? First you have to count the number of fish. Then you have to group them. Make a group of 10. Then you have to fill in the ones and tens boxes. So pause the video, do the activity, then we'll continue the class. So let's discuss the answers. So what is the answer for this? How many fish are there total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So total 12. So in one's place, so what you have to do next? You have to group them. Then in one's place, how many fish? 2. Then in tens place, one group of 10 fish. That is 1. Okay, the answer is you have to write it like this. In one's place, 2. And in tens place, 1. Moving on to the next one. How many fish are there in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there are total 17. So did you make a group of 10 fish? First you have to make a group of 10 fish. So remaining how many fish are there? 7 single fish are there. It comes in which place? One's place. So we'll write it here 7. And one group of 10 fish. That is 1. So 1 tens and 7 ones make which number? 17. 
Next you can see blocks and there are number cards. So for each block you have to match it with its number card. See the first one. 1, 10, 5 ones. 1, 10 means 10 and 5 ones, 5. So it makes which number? 15. So you have to match it with number 15. Then see the next one. 1, 10 and 3 ones. 1, 10 means 10. 3 ones, 3. So it makes which number? 10 and 3. 11, 12, 13. So it makes which number? 13. So you have to match it with number 13. See the next one. 1, 10 and 0 ones. So 1, 10 means 10. 0 ones, 0. So the number is 10. So you have to match it with which number? Number 10. See the next one. 1, 10 and 7 ones. 1, 10 makes 10. 7 ones means 7. So it makes which number? 17. So you have to match it with number 17. Moving on to the next exercise. Arrange the numbers in the correct order. So see the numbers 15, 17, 16. Is it the correct order? When we count numbers from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So which number comes first? 15. So after 15, 15, 16. So the next one is 16. After 16, 17. So what is the order? 15, 16, 17. Okay. See the next one. 11, 13, 12. Make it in the correct order. 10, 11. So after 10, we'll say 11. So 11. After 11, 12. Then 13. So the right order is 11, 12, 13. Okay. Moving on to the next one. This, this one we have learnt in the last class about before, after and between numbers. So you can do this as activity. So what you have to do here is you have to write after numbers. Which number comes after 11? Which number comes after 40? Like that you have to write numbers which comes before 30, comes before 70. And between numbers. Which number comes between 12 and 40 and which number comes between 18 and 20. So you, have, you can do this and once you have completed, you can show it to your parents. So the next one is, it is also a very small activity. So have you helped someone or have you made someone happy? Like you have helped your friends or have you shared anything with your friends or your brothers or sisters? So if you share something with our friends or when we help them, we'll make others happy. So have you, do you have any experience like that where you have made anyone happy? So if you have anything like that, you can share that moment with your parents about your experience when you made someone happy. Okay. Moving on to the next exercise. This is Abacus, tens and ones on Abacus. So you have, we have learned what is an abacus. Abacus is a tool which we use for reading and counting numbers. So there are two rods that is the ones and the tens. So let's read the numbers. I am Adam and my name has four letters. One, two, three, four. So the name Adam has how many letters? Four letters. So four is a one digit number or a two digit number? It is a one digit number. So, what is the place value of 4? The place value of 4 is 1's. So, in 1's place, we'll draw how many beads? We'll draw 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the number is 4. Let's take another one. I have 15 candies. How many? 15. So, 15 is a one digit number or a two digit number? 
it is a two digit number. So what is the place value of five? That is ones. And what about one? Tens. So in ones place we'll draw how many beads? We'll draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Then in one in tens place, one. It makes which number? 15. See the next one. I am Samantha and my name has eight letters. How many letters? Eight. So eight is a one digit number or a two digit number? It is a one digit number. So what is the place value of eight? Ones. So ones and tens is here. In ones place we'll draw how many beads? We'll draw eight. Here you can see eight beads. So eight ones makes eight. See the next one. I have 20 marbles with me. How many marbles? 20. Is it a one digit number or a two digit number? It is a two digit number. So the place value of zero, ones. Two, tens. So in ones place, zero. Zero has no value. Then in tens place, how many beads we'll draw? We'll draw two. Two tens makes 20. So the answer is 20. Moving on to the next one, page number 23. Here you have to read the numbers shown on the abacus. So see the first one. In one's place, how many beads are there? Three. Three ones make three. Then in tens place, how many beads are there? One. So one ten makes ten. So the answer is 13. Like that, see the next one. In one's place, how many beads? Two. Two ones make two. In tens place, how many beads? One. One ten makes ten. So the answer is twelve. See the next one. So in one's place, how many beads are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll write it here, six. So six ones make six. So in tens place, how many beads are there? One. So ten ones, one ten makes ten. So what is the number? The number is sixteen. So let's see the last one. In ones place, any beads are there? No. So the number is zero. So in tens place, how many beads are there? Two. So two tens make twenty. So the answer is twenty. So let's do the second one. Draw beads on the abacus for the given numbers. So here you can see numbers are given and you have to draw the beads. So see the first one. Which is the number? Number 18. So 8 is in which place? 1's. And 1 is in 10's place. So in 1's place how many beads we'll draw? We'll draw 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in 10's place 1. So 1 10 and 8 ones make number 18. So see the next one. So which is the number? Number 14. So the place value of 4 is 1's and 1 is 10's. So in 1's place we'll draw how many beads? We'll draw 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So in 1's place, in 10's place, 1. 1 10 and 4 ones make number 14. So the next two, number 15 and number 19, that you can do it as an activity. So what you have to do? You have to see the numbers, see in ones and tens place, number 15. So 5 is in ones place. So you have to draw how many beads? 5. So like that, you can do it for number 19 also. So moving on to the next one. How many letters does your name have? So what you have to do? You have to write your name here. So let's take an example. We'll write one name. It is just an example. You can write your name here. Okay. So let's write a name Rohan. So how many letters are there in the word? There are five letters. One, two, three, four, five. So five is a one digit number or a two digit number. It is a one digit number. So what is the place value of five? It is once. So how will we represent it in the abacus? Ones and tens. So five is in ones place. So in ones place we'll draw how many beads? We'll draw five. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, like that, you can write your name here, count the number of letters, then you can represent it in the abacus. Okay, so we learnt about tens and ones today. So, we will meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.